Hello everybody, welcome back. Thanks for watching the channel. So today I want to take a look at a very, very convoluted way to compute the integral of 1 dx. And it's convoluted in that we sort of take a stroll through the trigonometric tulips. And it turns out to be really fun and playful and interesting, so I thought you'd enjoy it. So in order to, to compute the integral of 1 dx in this way, we're going to need the following. So we're going to use a Weierstrass substitution. And so remember, I've got a video going through the Weierstrass substitution, but the idea is you let u equal tangent of x over 2. You can fill out a right triangle, and from that you can, of course, solve for x just by taking the arctangent on both sides. And then from that you can find dx. Well, we'd also like to know the, the sine of x and the cosine of x. And we get that basically via the double angle formulas, right? So this is essentially the sign of a double angle formula, but written in the context of sine of x. So for sine of x, we'll use exactly this quantity here. Okay, same idea with cosine. So for cosine of x, notice the double angle formula, but sort of put into this context. And notice that after we compute, we get that the cosine of x is exactly this quantity. And then lastly, we're gonna need that classic Pythagorean identity. Okay, so I think with that said, let's check this out. Okay, and I think if you look at the Pythagorean identity, you have sort of an idea how we're going to start this, right? We're going to call the integral of 1 exactly the integral of this, and then we can proceed using this. Okay, so the integral of 1 dx, this is exactly the integral of sine squared of x plus, well, cosine squared of x dx. And so taking inspiration from Weierstrass, we know that, well, if u is equal to the tangent of x over 2, then we have the following. So then we have that, well, x is equal to 2 times the arctangent of u, and then we know that dx, which we're going to need, right? So dx is exactly 2 over u squared plus 1 du. Okay, so that seems nice. And also from before, we're going to need the sine of x. So that's, what do we say? That was 2u over u squared plus 1. And then also, we need the cosine, but we said that was 1 minus u squared over u squared plus 1. And now, I think we're ready to go for it. We just have to be careful with our algebra. All right, let's see what we have here. Okay, so sine of x is exactly this quantity. So yeah, let's, let's plug that in for sine of x. So that's going to give us, it looks like, 2u over u squared plus 1 quantity squared plus, and then, of course, our cosine, which we have here. So we've got 1 minus u squared over, well, u squared plus 1, quantity squared. Um, well, and we want to replace dx. So dx is, um, we said, well, exactly this quantity, so it's 2. Uh, times du over u squared plus 1. Okay, so yeah, we're able to replace dx right here. I just brought the 2 out in front, which is fine. So now let's do a little bit of algebra and see what we can do here. And so let's see here. So I definitely will have common denominators here. And in a moment, it looks like I could combine that with a u squared plus 1 here. And let's look at those numerators. So I've got, it looks like 4u squared plus, well, I'm squaring a binomial here, right? So I've got 1 minus 2u squared plus u to the fourth. And I think this looks pretty promising because we could easily combine these. We'll combine this and maybe, just maybe, the numerator will factor into something nice. So combining that numerator, so I've got u to the fourth plus a 2u squared plus 1. How nice is that? 
So that's a, a perfect square trinomial, right? And then downstairs, we've got this u squared plus 1 quantity cubed, and then, of course, du. Right, so that seems nice. Let's go ahead and factor that numerator. We've got u squared plus 1 quantity squared over u squared plus 1 quantity cubed du. That seems really nice because we can do some algebra. We'll slide that up a bit and let's see what happens. So we've got a little bit of canceling and we get a classic here. So we've got 2 times the integral of 1 over u squared plus 1 du, and that's our old friend arctangent. So yeah, seems pretty nice. Let's see what that gives us. So that gives us two times the uh, the arctangent of u plus c, but let's go back. Remember what u is. So going way back here, by our Weierstrass substitution, we said that u is equal to the tangent of x over 2. So now we're going to plug that back in and use sort of our rules of inverse functions or composing inverses. So we've got 2 times the arctan of the tangent of x over 2. And so these are inverses. So that gives me 2 times x over 2 plus c, which gives me x plus c. Such a fun way to compute that. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. If you enjoyed that, you want to see more fun, offbeat, off-kilter, kind of off-the-beaten-path mathematics, don't forget to subscribe, share with your math friends, and I'll see you next time.